It is great to have you join us on the cafe this morning. Now, Te Waka Huia has just begun its second run as part of the Basement Theatre's Matariki season. The play is inspired by New Zealand's worst road accident, the Brindirwin bus crash, which claimed the lives of 15 people in February 1963. Hmm. To tell us all about it, we welcome playwright and performer Naomi Bartley and director Chris Malloy. Yes. Hi guys. Thank you. Uh, Naomi, let's start with you. Can you first tell us a little bit about the Brindirwin bus crash? I mean, what, what actually happened? Well, the Brindewin bus crash happened in um, February 1963. Um, there was a group coming back from Waitangi. They'd been, it was 63 was the year that the Queen had come to um, Waitangi and, and huge numbers of people were, were gathered up there and she was um, honouring particular um, komatoa from all over the country. And a couple from um, Helensville were being similarly honoured. So a bus ha had gone up to support their komatoa and um, unfortunately on the way back the, the bus, um, the brakes failed at the top of the Brindewin Hills. Which is a very windy piece of road. Very windy mm. piece of uh, road. The, the, the driver managed to get all the way to the bottom bar the last bend mm. and then um, the bus went over that cliff. Um, yeah, so 15 people died. Um, it was, yeah, New Zealand's worst worst road accident. And such a huge day of celebration for the people on the bus as well, wasn't it? Um, Chris, uh, did you know much about this crash before you took on the director's role? No, no, I didn't. Um, I'm not kind of familiar with Auckland past Albany, really. Right. <laughs> Being from the Bay of Pliny, so... Um, but, yeah, I, I didn't. And, um, yeah, so now I, I know a whole bunch and um, it's really kind of... Um, uh, it's been a profound experience directing the show over the last mm. three, four years, five years we've been involved. Wow. I bet it is. Yeah. So Naomi, tell us a little bit about the characters in the play. I mean, uh, who, so who, what have you got in there? Who have you got in there? We're not doing a reenactment, obviously, of, of the crash. Um, this play takes place. It's a contemporary piece and it's fictional. Um, basically, a short premise is that it's set on a derelict bus um, found in a paddock back of Helensville, a couple of teenagers figure it's a good place to hang out and there they meet a, an older character who has connections to the bus crash and they kind of learn about the crash through their relationship with him. They kind of learn also about, you know, the sense of belonging, the sense of who they are. It's a, it's, um, it covers a, a number of different themes other than simply just the bus crash. And you wrote it, so what sparked your interest in the first place? Well, uh, try and cut that down, a short story. <laughs> um, basically, I live in Helensville, lived in Helensville for many years, and it was in a conversation with a friend of mine, and I discovered this bus crash, and I was shocked that I had never heard of it before. It's not something that we as a town have done very well in remembering. And um, so that kind of drew me in. My friend knew I was a writer and thought, well, it's something perhaps that the story needs to be told somehow. And it has been. And that's kind of where it came from. So you mm. perform it as well. So Chris, yes. what's it like mm. for you directing <laughs> Naomi in her own play? Um, Careful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, uh, it's very, uh, it's interesting to um, kind of watch uh, the writer, because it's the first time I've directed someone who's written their own piece, so, um, we had someone else for the role that she was playing and they had unfortunately had to pull out at the last moment so uh, who else could uh, fill in on short notice but the person who wrote the thing mm -hmm. so um, but yeah I think it's um, it's good because um, I don't have to worry so much about as you probably have noticed not so much about your performance but I could focus on the others because she knows the content of the work we don't have to kind of talk around um, you know I suppose the history of the work and how that informs you know what we're doing on stage and to honor the piece and you know the memories of those who part it. none of that has to kind of go, come into it so um, yeah, and uh, yeah, she's the producer as well, so um, she pays the bills, so she's really good. <laughs> and speaking, speaking of honouring uh, those that were involved, obviously very sensitive, how did you work that? Did you go and meet whānau? Mm. Did you meet survivors? Um, going back to original, when, when my friend um, told me about the crash, it was actually her whānau that were connected into that. Um, and so it was kind of on her um, invitation um, that I then thought, well, I'm happy to write something, but I'm a total outsider, right. and I'll only go as far as Fano were happy for me to go. Mm. And so all the way along the way, I've um, been able to meet 
Fano. I've we've done readings just for Fano. Each step in the process, we've really gone for their um, their support, their total and I've only gone to the next step with that blessing. And what's their response been? It's been amazing. It really has been amazing. Um, the first couple of readings we did were just for Fano, and the stories that were then able to be shared, um, people standing up and saying they've never ever spoken about their experience before wow. but this play was given yeah. them a space to do that and they felt I guess that safety in, in doing that so now we've had excellent mm. really supportive response that's from, excellent from all yeah, the nice work. thank you both very much for joining us it sounds Thanks intriguing yeah. Te Waka Huia plays at Auckland's basement theatre until Saturday you can check out iTicket for details